Today we are going to talk about lung cancer. What is lung cancer? This is essentially when you are talking about cancer which is involving the tissues in the chest that is lung or in the mediastinum also. We need to understand what cancer is. Cancer is when any part of the body, in this case the lung, starts to grow without any control which is normally taken care of by the DNA of the cells and it goes on without any control and starts to form a tumor or starts to spread from within the lung to the rest of the body. That is what is called lung cancer. What causes lung cancer? There are multiple factors. Usually there is a uh, genetic predisposition, there are some environmental factors and sometimes we bring it on to it ourselves by smoking and other issues. Okay, Is there any increase in uh, the incidence of lung cancer these days? Yes, we see it much more than what we ever used to see earlier, but there could be multiple factors for that. One is we are recognizing this disease more often these days because of greater awareness and with the sheer increase in the number in the population, we tend to see more number of uh, cases of lung cancer. Yes, smoking has also contributed to it significantly and uh, yes, that definitely has uh, formed a significant issue. Okay, now how do you recognize this particular disease? What are these symptoms? When do you suspect that you have cancer? Now the sad part is that in a majority of the cases we do not have any symptoms. So we need to be aware of this particular thing and try to be uh, careful in trying to pick it up as early as possible. So if a young person comes who has been a smoker who comes with cough uh, which he attributes to my smoking cough, you would rather investigate and probably do a very early CT scan and other things to pick up the disease. But for the lay people, you know, people who have cough which is unremitting in spite of treatment for about two to three weeks, then definitely you would like to get an X-ray and other things and do that. Coughing up blood is another significant uh, symptom that we would be, you need to be aware of. If you are coughing up blood, for no rhyme or reason, then you get to the doctor and get yourself evaluated. Third and probably a very important thing is unexplained weight loss. You suddenly start losing weight in a person who has been a smoker. Yes, I think you need to see a pulmonologist to get yourself evaluated. So these are the dominant things. Sometimes people may come with chest pain, people may come with breathlessness or a combination of all these things. When you have all these things, you definitely would want to know, you can't come to a conclusion that you are having a cancer, but if you think that these are the alarming symptoms which should make you go to a pulmonologist for an evaluation. Probably he will ask you to go through with a chest x-ray, maybe in cases he may ask you to go through with a CT scan, other things, definitely you will need to go through with all these things.